Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to recreate a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup look. It is a sultry makeup look that flatters everyone, every eye color and eye shape. So please keep on watching and I really hope you'll enjoy it. Let's get started and we are starting by priming our skin. This is right now my favorite combo, so Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Laura Mercier in Radiance. And I like to prime my eyes as a first step, even before applying my base and concealer. And here I'm just applying a thin layer of this very glowy primer, as you can see. The next step is foundation. And I'm using Pro Longwear Foundation in NC20. It is slightly darker than my skin tone, but uh, for this look it works fine. And by the way, I'm really, really pale. And uh, I'm just applying it using my uh, foundation brush by Sigma called F82. I'm going now to finish my skin applying Eve Per Salmon Concealer and HD Powder by Makeup Forever. And when I do a full face makeup look, I also like to apply first a color corrector to cover my dark circles. And then at the very end, a concealer to clean up the area under my eyes. And here I'm finishing off by applying a thin layer of this powder using a brush by Real Techniques. To make my eyeshadows stand out even more and to make them look shiner, I'm using here Berry Study Paint Pot by MAC and uh, I'm just applying it with my fingers all over my eyelids. The eyeshadows that I'm going to use are basically just from the Naked palette and the first color that I'm going to use is called Naked and I'm using it just as a transitional color and I'm applying it in my crease using a small burning brush by Sigma. I'm now taking a color by MAC which is called Sable and it is a kind of a bronzy uh, pinkish shade and I'm applying it again in my crease with a small blending brush and then I'm creating a kind of a v-shape on the outer corner of my eyes and then I'm taking a small precision brush and I'm applying the same color also under my eyes. The next eyeshadow that I'm going to use is called Sin and it is a pink shade and it has a frost finish and I really like it. I think that it makes my brown eyes really pop. The next color is called Buck and it is a medium brown shade and it has a matte finish to it and I'm applying it again in my crease to intensify the colors that I have used and I'm also dragging it down a little bit. The next color is called Dark Horse and I'm just applying it with a small precision brush to intensify the outer corners of my eyes. The last eyeshadow that I'm going to use is called Virgin and I'm applying it with a small pointy brush under my eyebrows. And it is now time for eyeliner and here I'm using one by Maybelline I like it, it is okay, I think it is easy to apply, but of course it doesn't last as long as my gel eyeliners that I love, and uh, I think it is okay for an everyday use. I'm now applying a gel eyeliner in a brown shade by MAC in my inner rims, but you could also use an eye pencil. And then I'm using again uh, the same small precision brush that I used before and um, just intensify the color under my eyes using sable again. For mascara I've gone for Maybelline Colossal Go Extreme after applying some individual false lashes. And it's now time to give my pale skin some extra color. And here I'm taking a matte bronzer by MAC and I'm not using a shimmery bronzer since I have already used a luminous primer before. And I'm applying it on my neck and on my shoulder too. 
I'm now going to use one of my all-time favorite, as you can see here, it is almost finished. And it is called Pink Leopard Bronzer by Too Faced. And it is a kind of a pink-brown shade. It has a lot of shimmer. And I just love it. And that is why I'm not going to apply any highlighter later. Because I think that this is shimmery enough, let's say. And just applying it with an angle brush. And as I told you before, here I'm just applying again some concealer to um, clean up my area in case of any uh, fallout of my eyeshadows. And now as a final step I'm applying again Virgin with a small pointy brush just on the inner corners of my eyes. For my lipstick I have chosen this uh, shade by MAC. It is called Shy and it is a kind of peachy, um, almost orangey shade and I have chosen it since we have used a lot of pink on the eyes and also on the cheeks. I thought it would have been a nice contrast. So guys, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And until next time, bye!